Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Gold Sigma Nuzlocke. This is part 41 in this episode. We're here outside of the power plant, ready to go ahead and get some more progress done. Because last episode was amazing and we did so much. So hopefully we can keep that going. We're going to keep the momentum flowing. And also, in between episodes, I looked up a random food name generator. So things are going to get real crazy real quick when we catch Pokemon now. And that makes me incredibly happy. So... First things first, let's just put uh, a random Pokemon in front, and let's head to the power plant. This is very different looking to what I was expecting. Oh, okay, I don't even get to choose if I walk forward. All right. Oh, I see. Thanks for the information. Carlos, nice to see you again. You know, I've been investigating what's happening with the power plant, because I wanted to go back to Johto using the magnet train. Just fly on a legendary, dude. It seems as important... It seems an important part of the power plant has been stolen. But can you guess by whom? Was it by... I bet it was that couple. They're way too happy. They have to have something evil about them. It seems it was a member of Team Rocket. Was it really? Dang, and I thought my guess was so good. Do you think Team Rocket is up to something again? I mean, probably. Did they ever stop? Anyway, this guy told me that the suspicious character went towards Cerulean City. I guess this is work for you, Carlos. After all, you are our Johto's champion. Everyone's kind of saying it a lot now, and I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, before I was like, hey, I'm the champion. Now it's, uh, now it's kind of lost its novelty a little bit. Well, I'll go back to Magnet Train. I want to check on Uncle Chuck. See ya. All right. The thief broke into the power plant. Was the wealth coming to? Oh, I suppose Wally told me where it was rather than that dude. This power plant's been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide power to the Magnet Train. So made off the parts essential for the generator, about if the new generator is useless. Power manager is up ahead, since someone wrecked the generator, has been both sad and furious. Okay. Uh, we'll have a quick speak with the manager, make sure that everything is a-okay. I, I, I'm ready to blast someone. Okay, uh, don't mind me, I'm leaving. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's gonna get a taste of my zap cannon. Don't make me Volt Tackle Gyarados, you. <laughs> Don't make me do it. In fact, would that work? Can I just generate electricity with my Volt Tackle Gyarados? I'm sure that would work. Actually, I don't want to be stuck here. Alright, well, that's, um... That's that rounded up. Let's go ahead and start ourselves on the Machine Park quest. We still haven't had any sign that Kurt is ready to be spoken to again, so I don't really know what's happening with the GS ball. But we'll keep a, a listen out, I guess. Oh. Oops. I'm so sorry. You're not hurt, okay? I love this dude so much. It's my favorite Team Rocket member by far. If anyone doesn't have this as their favorite Team Rocket member, in the games anyway, then let's be honest. You're making a mistake. I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. I am somebody. Oh no. You've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You see, here, no nothing, okay? And do not look for anything in this place. Nothing here, okay? Bye kid, nothing. Bye bye a go-go. I love that phrase, bye bye a go-go. Oh, it's such a good title. All right, where am I going? Uh, I think I still have the item finder on, I do. No response, no response, no response. No response. No response. Uh, I probably need to just go over here. Can I count or anything in this gym? Probably not. Probably not. No response. My thought process is, is normally by the left tube, is it not? I guess we can just click everywhere, it's fine. As long as we have an order to our clicking, we'll find it eventually. It's probably not the best attitude. I mean, it's normally on the left-hand side, so I guess we'll start here. Let's click around. It might take a little bit. Might take a little bit. It could also be on that ring in the water. No response at all, huh? Okay. No, I don't want to go in the water. I was just clicking frantically. Okay, it's not my fault. 
Alright, maybe not, maybe not. The cushions? No. Pedestal? No. Nothing? Interesting. Okay. Uh, ring. No? Was there another ring the other side? There was. This ring. Ring. Huh. Uh... Alright, does that mean he actually left it on the walkway here? I mean, I'm, I'm clicking frantically. Nothing came up with the item finder, so I guess we can't use that. Machine part. Okay, that was... harder to find than it should have been. I don't know why the item finder doesn't pick it up, that's kind of annoying. But, with this machine part, we can go ahead, we can fly back to the power plant and unlock... something, probably. <laughs> Does that sound convincing? Maybe not. Okay. Hopefully, this was worthwhile. If it only unlocks the magnet train, then I had no real reason to come and do this, and that would make me sad. Other than it might unlock Misty. That's what we're hoping for, I guess. We're hoping that it unlocks Misty. How did I not battle this trainer before? Actually, how? I'm very confused. I feel like we must have had to, but I, I guess we didn't. I don't, I don't really understand, for sure. I know about that trainer, though. Uh, let's surf real quick. Weasel, that's a fun Pokemon. Alright. And with this, we go to the manager, I assume, not the guards. And we say, hey, don't zap cannon me. Ah, yeah. That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Well, ha, thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. TM07, is that dive? It's a zap cannon, it's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. It sure does. Now, who can learn it? <laughs> who, who needs zap cannon? Gengar, can you learn zap cannon? <gasps> Ooh, zap cannon, agron, tempting. They're all tempting, but also I'm pretty sure every single one of those Pokemon can learn Thunderbolt, and there is no reason to go Zap Cannon over Thunderbolt. There just isn't. So we are not going to do that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to Cerulean Gym after I check one thing. Because normally, after the Team Rocket dude leaves the gym, he goes up towards Nugget Bridge. Does he not? And I want to speak to him more, because he's my favorite character. Has he gone up here? He has not. Not that I can see, anyway. Uh... I guess we probably want to head to the cape, anyway, to check if Misty's at the cape. So I guess we'll head this way. Oh! 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 Okay. Am I gonna go into the battle right here? Oh, why do you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right, pest. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. Okay. She has more blonde hair, which I find kind of strange. Can I help you here, Kabuto? <laughs> he's still just stuck as a Kabuto. He's, he's never gonna get out of being stuck as a Kabuto. I feel so bad, but also... I suppose it's not that bad. It could be worse. Okay, he could be stuck as a worse Pokemon than a Kabuto. Imagine being stuck as a Garbodor. That, that'd be very sad. Yo, champ in the making. Since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. Heh, heh, heh. Alright. Okay. Didn't didn't ask, but okay. Um, let's go ahead, battle some of these trainers. We're gonna keep speed up button on for the most part. Oh, okay, hold up. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just change my, uh, change, change my pace a little bit there. Speed up button's gonna be off for a little bit so I don't make any mistakes. That seems much more sensible. That's definitely what I was gonna say from the beginning. Uh, this is, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not expecting to get taken down that low by a Seedra. But honestly, the levels are respectable. It's fine. They're just not fully evolved. Which is strange, but sure. And Clamp Up. Which we can Sludge Bomb, and then we can go and heal up our team, because we haven't done that in a while. So let's go and 
hit the Pokemon Center real quick. That's right, we're gonna walk up, we're gonna punch the building, and then we're gonna leave. We're not actually gonna heal, we're just gonna hit the Pokemon Center. And then we will be A-OK. -okay. So the question from here is, we battle Misty, but what does that unlock? My theory at the moment is that it unblocks a pathway to the Seafoam Islands to get to Cinnabar and loop around to Pallet Town that way. However, I also kind of want to double check if we can go through Diggler Cave. I tried so hard to avoid that trainer. I, I surfed into the war just so I would be one out of range and I'm not one out of range. That's so sad. I messed up. Lombre. Okay. X speed. Why? Hide push. Why an X speed lombre? Am I seeing strategies that I shouldn't be seeing? Are these forbidden techniques passed down through the Cerulean Gym for years on end? I feel like I'm learning. I feel like I'm learning how to be a true, true trainer, okay? Like, I'm only the Johto champion. I don't compare to someone that uses an X-Speed Lombre. That's so next level, I can't even comprehend why they do that. X-Speed into Aqua Ring after using all potions. I'm, I'm learning strategies, okay? I'm gonna one day be this good of a trainer. One day. I can only hope. Sea King. Sea King could have Lightning Rod. But I'm not gonna play around that. I'm gonna assume it doesn't. I could be making a mistake right here. Please don't have Lightning Rod. X Accuracy Sea King! And I thought that X Speed Lombre would be the strangest thing. Is it using, like, accuracy and then it's gonna try and horn drill? Because if so, that's a valid strategy and I kind of respect that at least, like, a little bit. I respect that a little bit. I can see why they would do that. X-Speed Lombre, I don't even, like, see why you want to do that. X-Accuracy Seeking, yeah, I, I believe. I believe. Alright. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto Gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. The water-type Pokemon are tough. But I have a Voltackle Gyarados. So I'm not particularly afraid. Corsola is the first Pokemon we are gonna see. Okay. Maybe fight Corsola. Thunderbolt. Shouldn't be too bad. Level 57 is respectable, actually. I'm kinda happy. Definitely respectable. It should, in theory, prove that we've gone the right way. I mean I know we've gone the right way. I looked up a guy, but still. Polytoad. Uh, see, the fact that she's bringing in the Politoed makes me kind of assume that the Politoed has something to hit the Pokemon I'm in with. That's my normal logic, but I don't think it does. Other than, like, a strong water-type move. Also, it didn't go with Drizzle. A Politoed without Drizzle. That's pretty rare. What's this other ability? Isn't it, like, own tempo or something? It's not a good ability, I know that much. Uh, we're just gonna full restore up, so that, that way I'm full health and I don't have to pay too much attention. I only have five. Should be fine. Waterfall. And static. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. I just wasn't expecting to predict something right. Okay. <laughs> it's like a hold on, I'm right kind of moment. <laughs> uh, Starmie, Starmie, Starmie. If there is a Pokemon... No, you know what? We're just going to keep Ampharos in. I really don't want to go into any Pokemon that could potentially be whapping Thunderbolt. I'm awake. Okay, I saw an X attack Starmie. Hold on, that's... 
Give me a minute. I'm thinking hard, okay? My eyes are, uh, I'm going to adjust to make sure I'm, I saw what I saw, you know? I'm just, just a little bit confused. X attack Starmie. To hit with that powerful rapid spin? <laughs> I, I believe it. As we all know, X attack rapid spin Starmie. That's a sweeper set if I've ever heard one. That's a, you don't want to mess with that. <laughs> I... I want to see if I could make a Rapid Spin Starmie set work in any kind of way. Just, just Rapid Spin. No other attacking moves, just Rapid Spin. I want to see if it would work. It makes me want to launch out Pokemon Showdown and do some just complete joke sets and see what we can do with them. I haven't done that in a very long time. Maybe that'll come back soon. Maybe. Maybe we'll go back to Pokemon Showdown soon. We'll see. Alright, but first of all, we received the Cascade badge, and we already have Waterfall. Uh, what TM would we get? Water Pulse? Are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I'm going to travel one day, so I can battle some skilled trainers. And you're also going to pick up a Togepi. HMO8! A little gift. It's Dive. The Pokemon dives into the first, and that's really good. That... Probably explains how we get through Seafoam Islands. That makes so much more sense than a blockade. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we can dive now. Right, that explains so much. Who can learn it? I don't want to teach it to Gyarados. Mm. I don't want to teach it to Gyarados. What does Leroy have? Leroy has a lot of HMs. Leroy is my Pokemon with Surf, Rock Smash, and Cut. I guess? If we really think about it, right? We have Dragon Claw as a TM, and I don't think we've clicked it in a very, very long time. Okay? So we can just get rid of Dragon Claw until we're done diving about. As soon as we get to a place where we're like, oh, we might fight a dragon here, we just simply put Dragon Claw back on instead. It's not the end of the world, I just don't particularly like not having my coverage. But as long as I have Volt Tackle, do I really care? Not really. As long as I have Volt Tackle, I feel pretty confident in my team. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way, but I do feel confident in my team. So, with that, first things first, before we head to Cinnabar and all that stuff, I want to see two things. One, can I go on Route 4? I can go along Route 4, which means I can go to Pewter City. Is Route 4 an encounter? It is, is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. What are you hiding up here? What are you hiding up here? There's something up here. There's gotta be something up here. I believe. Okay, let's not do any scary damage right now, buddy. What are you hiding? What's here? What is this? Nothing? Nothing. If Misty gave us dive, does that mean Brock is going to give us Rock Climb? We have to get Rock Climb soon, right? It's either that or Viridian. One of the two. It wouldn't make sense for Blaine to give us that. Why is there a... Why is there a call thing there? That makes no sense. Mount Moon ahead. Alright. Well. First things first. Route 4 is an encounter. So, let's just go ahead see what we can find here. Sparrow is duped. Sandile is a valid encounter. Is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't remember seeing a Sandile. Gimme. One Ultra Ball. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Honestly, I feel like the catch rate for everything has been that. Right. I... Give me one second. I got a random food name generator loaded. Okay? I know. Crazy. We are going to... How do I use this? All right, randomize. What on earth is that? Goat salad. What? <laughs> what? 
Tomato, lettuce, white cabbage, goat, and chickpeas. Goat salad. Sandile, you're being called goat salad. What an honor. What an absolute honor. Wow, I learned a thing today. That's apparent. I don't eat salad, okay? I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I eat chicken nuggets and chips. That's all I've eaten every day for at least like 10 years, okay? I don't have a healthy diet, but I am not one to eat goat salad. What on earth is that? All right, okay. Mount Moon is also an encounter. Oh, it's been a while, Carlos. I thought I told you I'm not interested in scum like you now. I've got bigger things to worry about, like looking after Team Rocket. All right, but still, I thought about what I was lacking as a leader, and with my Pokemon, we came up with an answer. Carlos, now we'll show you. All right, sure, go for it. Rival G. Rifle G. Look at him go. He just can't hold a name. <laughs> it's so weird. Rifle G, what do we want to fight you with? I kind of want to fight you with Gyarados. Go into Gyarados, Mega Evolve, call it a day. We're going to do that. That makes a lot of sense to me. What's happening here? Slash. Slash is fine. No crit, didn't do a lot. We're gonna Dragon Dance once because I'm not afraid of this Pokemon. Uh, worst case scenario, Slash crits, basically. That's all I can think of. Yeah, Slash again. Doesn't crit, we get a Dragon Dance off. I don't think we need more than one. I don't wanna risk more than one, so we're just gonna go for a Waffle here and call it good. I just want to get to the point where I have to encounter another Pokemon and I get to click the randomize button on that food generator again. I don't know how we top goat salad, but if that's the first thing, I assume it gets better. Oh boy, Magnazone. What did we do last time? We went into Golem and clicked Earthquake, and that was it, because it can't have Sturdy, right? Okay. I don't like bringing in Golem. Again, right? This Magma Zone is 56. That's its age, not its level. It doesn't have level beside it. Please, that speed. Okay, Earthquake. Boom. That should be good. No Focus Sash. That doesn't exist. That's fine. We're good. Boom. Magma Zone down. Okay. That's definitely the scariest part about this fight. It's gotta be. Meganium. Yeah, okay. Meganium doesn't scare me at all. I have a very, very strong Pokemon against Meganium. Good old rainbow guy himself. We have flame for us, we don't have to worry. We also have fly. I don't know which would do more. I'm sure Meganium's defensive stats are both 100. So, probably around the same. But flame for our one shot, so we don't need to worry. Okay. See now, Meganium? That's a goat salad. That's a goat salad type Pokemon right there. Meganium definitely strikes me as a goat salad. I don't know what that means. But it's true, okay? And finally, we have Crobat, which can get slapped by this Thunderbolt. No real worry. Like, his team isn't bad, okay? His team is respectable. It just lacks something. I feel like Meganium just doesn't fit. <laughs> For Alligator, sure. Typhlosion, sure. Meganium, eh. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be the best they could be, but it still wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, you should have enough six, that, that would help. You won fair and square, I admit it, but this isn't the end. Soon something big will go down, just wait and see. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. No, the greatest leader ever. Because these guys are behind me, Team Rocket is behind me, and the whole world is in front of me. Good old world domination, it's such a fun hobby. Listen, Carlos, one of these days I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. See you soon, Carlos. Oh, did he, did he fall down the ladder? What? What are these? These look cool. Uh, first of all, let's go up. Mount Moon. Does this take me to like the Clefairy Center? Route 3. Route 3? 
Oh, is this the Clefairy Santa? Lil and White Clefairy. I'm going to assume that's meant to say quiet, but sure. Uh, what do you have to say? Welcome, how may I help you? Okay. You sell anything useful? No? Okay, right. Well, anyway, we're going to completely ignore that you exist. And Route 3 is an encounter, technically. So with Amphros in front, let's go ahead and see what we can get. I assume it'll be Clefairy, if I'm perfectly honest. I assume Clefairy is what we're going to be looking for. Can I even encounter anything in this grass? Alright then. Don't mind me. Just trying to get some grass that works. More UFOs! <laughs> it still doesn't make sense to me. Oh boy, what great grass. This sure is amazing. What's this? Macho brace. Yeah, not, not too useful. Uh, doesn't seem like we can encounter anything, which is strange. I can't get to that grass down there by the looks of it. Nope, that's blocked off. That's just there for decoration. Do you battle? There might not be any mushrooms here. I think I got them all. Oh. Zahori is I keep thinking that's something very different. Where? <laughs> Where? Are you telling me it's detecting the tree? Was it actually detecting the tree? Okay. okay. Alright. Alright, fine. Sure. TMO5 raw. Can I hit by a tree? I don't have head bar. Okay. Well, it looks like we're not getting an encounter up at that side. Mount Moon. That was not Mount Moon. That was the mansion at Cinnabar. Excuse me? Mount Moon encounter, however, is going to be... Alright. Mount Moon is uh, apparently a very, very uh, quiet place. Oh? Oh? A Zubat. Wait. I have a gold bat, right? 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 Do I? Oh, oh no. Oh no. I, I must have picked up a gold bat by now. I'm running, I'm pretty sure that's dupes. Thanks so much, you saved my life, I never see more. The scientist, somebody has strung lights up on Mount Moon, causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. After the Moonstone, I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought here from another planet like a fiery. Dude, are you okay? You need to lay off the drugs. That's right, Clefairy aliens, please go help them. Don't do drugs, kids. You'll end up like that. Actually, you won't end up like that. That's fun. Okay, if you ended up like that, that'd be a good thing. You won't end up like that. You'll end up probably just depressed on your couch, if I'm perfectly honest. That's generally probably how it would go. Uh, how do I check if I have had... Where is... Okay, I have caught a gold bat that was dupes. I'm not crazy. Okay. My memory right now, for the Pokemon that I have caught and not caught, it's not good. Geodude I have definitely caught because I have Golem in my pie, so I know that one. That one's not going to get the best of me. Our, we have an Aggron in our pie, okay. <laughs> Wigglytuff, huh? Alright, we're going to bop a Wigglytuff real quick. We're going to bop a Vigoroth real quick. Reversal is a scary move to use against an Aggron. Can you not? You know, Golem is just more consistent. I just want an encounter, okay? I want to click the random name generator one more time this episode. Wisma. That's an encounter, right? Yeah. Pretty sure that's an encounter. You know, once you get to like 40 episodes in, you're just not sure anymore. Why is every Pokemon being caught so easily? What is happening? You can you cannot get caught in the first Pokeball. I really won't complain that much. 
Oh boy, it's time. All right, random. Uh, I mean, uh, I got kiwi fruit and harissa yogurt. So I'm just gonna go with harissa and, uh, and assume that that's a food. I assume that this is a food. I don't know what these foods are, by the way. I, I don't get a picture alongside it on the random generator. I just get the name of a random food. And that's all I need. That's all I need to be incredibly happy. TM09 Vine Whip. Well, that's not particularly useful. That's a pretty useless thing to get, but sure. Is there a Pokemon Center out here? Route 3. No. Alright. But there is a nurse, so I'm going to assume we can speak to the nurse to heal. And we're going to wrap up this episode here. Next episode, we will head to Pewter City, have ourselves a battle against Brock, and see what happens after that. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I've got further ado. Bye!